Writing long articles with ChatGPT or their API is frustrating. For example, write me an article about beach volleyball sunglasses. Let's send this through. And as this populates, I'm going to get a word counter ready. There we go. Let's copy this article, paste it in, and we get only 554 words. Now, there are a few things we can do with the prompt to increase that output size. For example, adding the word detailed to the prompt. So we're writing a detailed article this time, not just an article. Let's see how many words we can get. Let's copy this text, paste it in, and we increased it by about 200 words. Now before, adding detail to the prompt was how I created longer articles within youraiagent.com. It was done using the auto blogging AI agent. So it would create hundreds of SEO optimized articles at a consistent interval around your chosen keywords. And this was an example of some of the articles that we would get. So very short, but now we're getting articles that medium is considering 20 minute reads, full introductions, multiple sections throughout the article, covering different points, diving deeper into the data. And this one's really long. Look how long it keeps going for. I'm going to copy all of this text, paste it into the word counter again. And this article gave us 4,900 words. So what's the difference? How are we able to maximize the output size of GPT-4 Omni within their API? And a lot of people have had this problem as well. They were increasing the max token length of up to 4,000 tokens, but they'd still only get 400 words. And these old ideas of prompting the model to generate at least 800 words, we've shown this doesn't work. You saw by adding detailed in the prompt, we only increased it by 200 words, but nothing even close to the 4,900 words I just got. And my theory was that it is totally incapable of doing this, either by design, as in they're purposely limiting the output tokens behind the scenes, either to save on their costs or for other internal reasons, or something I saw in another forum post, it just might be what the model has been trained on. If you take an average of all the articles across the web, what is the size of those articles? Is the average 500 to 700 words and 4,900 words is the anomaly? So that is a possibility. So we do have to find a way around this limitation. And you do this within ChatGPT and in the API through outlines. So unfortunately within ChatGPT, there's no way to do this automatically. This is a bit of a tedious and manual process, but the hint was given through an old GPT created on this channel called SEO Fox. So you start with a keyword. Let's go beach volleyball sunglasses. I'm going to click enter. It wants us to choose the title. Let's go with number three. Now it creates an outline automatically. We are going to approve this outline. Then it writes the introduction. And because this is ChatGPT, and you'll never get a response that is more than 500 to 700 words at a time, I add in the instructions, please copy this introduction into your draft document. Once confirmed, we will move on to the first point in the outline. So this is the manual process I was talking about. So I'm going to copy the introduction. Let's open up a new medium document, paste in the introduction. I'm going to write confirmed. Now it moves on to the first point in the outline. After it finished writing, it creates an image based on that section of the article. So I'm going to copy the first point of the outline, paste it in. And if I really wanted to make this article look professional, I would download this image, scroll up above that section. Let's hit enter here, hit that plus button, add an image. And there we go. Then I'm going to write proceed. It's going to move on to the next point of the outline and I'll follow that same process. So copy this text, paste it into the article, and then do this until the entire article is finished. And with the longer context window within ChatGPT, it keeps remembering the previous outline it created. So it will go from point to point and not repeat any of the text 
it previously generated. So at the end, you get an entire unique, full, and long article about your particular topic, keyword, or key phrase. And if I copied all this text, so this is just the introduction and the first outline point, pasting it into the word counter, we already have 924 words. So you can see how this process creates articles of up to 5,000 words. If you're curious on how to do this within the API, let's take a look at the back end of youraiagent.com. Here I am in Bubble. I built this web app within that platform. So I'm going to click on the drop down menu, go to back end workflows, and we're gonna find the new longer articles workflow. There's a lot going on here, but we're gonna to go to the parts that matter. Let's take a look at longer articles, GPT-4 Omni keywords. There are multiple actions in this workflow. The first action, we write a simple title for an article about the user's keyword. And in the user content message, we grab that keyword. So in the previous example, we use beach volleyball sunglasses. It would write a simple title around that keyword, which would be something like the ultimate guide to buying beach volleyball sunglasses. Then in the next step, if the user has selected the longest possible article on the auto blogging page, there's an option to choose the article length. And I'll show you what happens at each of these points. But if the user selected extra long, what we do is we draft a five point SEO optimized outline for the following article. And in the user content message, we provide the article title and the focus keyword. If the length is shorter, so let's say long instead of extra long, the only difference is it's a four point SEO optimized outline instead of five. Same for medium length, this would be a three point. Standard would be a two point outline. And for short, we just write the article from scratch. So that's where you get the 500 to 700 words. The next step is drafting the SEO optimized introduction for your article. And in the prompt, we tell it the task, the article title, and the outline generated in a previous step. We have some extra things like the keyword, the format for introductions. We just want plain text, no subheadings or headings, and the language that the user has chosen, let's say Spanish. But the most important part in this step, the introduction step, and all subsequent steps is we provide the outline we generated earlier. So it always has a frame of reference of what it needs to write about. This gives us shorter initial prompts compared to providing everything it has written before. As long as it has the outline in each step, it can follow the natural progression of the article. So step one is write an SEO optimized 1000 word segment for outline point number one the first point of the outline, I go do not write an intro or conclusion because this is a part of a longer article. We still don't get 1000 word articles using this in the prompt. It's still around 500 to 700 words. But the point of that is we want to write a lot of text. We provide the article title, the outline. So it will look at this outline C.1 and write that section. Here is some simple formatting tips the language as well. And then in the next step, we're doing the same thing, except this time we're talking about point two. Then we want it to write about point three, point four. This one is point five. If the user has selected the longest possible articles, and then we write a detailed conclusion that hopefully summarizes all of the points expressed in the detailed outline. With the API, what we have to do is store all of the results I do it in a data type called post. It's a text field. And then when it's posting on medium, we add each post item one by one into the article layered on top of each other to get one final result. I call this chunking. So we're writing chunks of the article at a time and then programmatically piecing it all together at the end. If you're curious about the images, so the first image of the article in the prompt, we use the article's title. The second image that will go above section three will take that content 
truncate it down to about 100 characters, which gives the model an idea of what that section is about. Because in that section, that intro text will kind of set the tone for the later content. So we give the image model an idea of what we're looking for. And we know that Dolly 3, Mid Journey, and a bit of Stable Diffusion, it kind of rewrites the prompt for you. So no matter what you write anyways, it's gonna have its own interpretation of what it's about. And with this process, we're letting AI do most of the work. So we do that for section three, section four, section five, section six, and then in the medium post, we have saved all of those image URLs to the database and we just layer them within the article. With all that being done, the final result looks like this. Here is an image generated by Stable Diffusion. This was the intro text. This was section one. Then we have another image, the major gods and goddesses in ancient Greek mythology. This was outline point two. It writes about that section. Here is another image. This one's about the myths and the legends, stories that shaped ancient Greek culture. And it's pretty cool that myths and legends, I know legends is misspelt. We have that problem with AI image generators, but it did a pretty good job even writing that text on the image. So that section is completed. Then we have mythological creatures and heroes in ancient Greek lore. And this image is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Whereas the entire content carries down. We have another image like that with the conclusion at the bottom. If you want to build your own custom AI app that creates long articles using GPT-4 Omni within the API, come check out this online course. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. If you don't care about building apps, but you want to generate 5,000 word articles for your business website or your medium.com profile or your Shopify store, come check out the auto blogging agent at youraiagent.com. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.